I'll just throw out a couple, and I, I'm sure you guys will have thoughts on the other divisions, et cetera. But for me, first off, NL West, I think the Giants are going to win the division. I, I never would have thought that coming in, but the simple fact is they were the first team to 50 wins. They have been on fire. The fact that they're doing it with guys that many of us thought were over the hill or kind of washed up. I mean, <laughs> thinking about like they got Wilmer Flores over there contributing to the team. Mm. I mean, you know, I got to give them props, you know, Gabe Kapler. I mean, did you really think that he was ever going to be a good manager after what happened in Philly? I never saw that happening. And to be honest, I think he could be manager of the year. So, I mean, what, what San Francisco is doing, I mean, who knows if they can sustain it for the rest of the season, but I'm just going to be bold. I'm going to say they're going to win the division. I, I like what they're doing. I think they have good energy, good chemistry. They've played well against the other teams in the division. I like to see them winning the West. And I've said it earlier in the show, I'll say it again. Two NL wild cards are going to be San Diego and Los Angeles. I think if you're another National League team in the Central or the East, you got to win the division to get in. And I do think I'll go even further. The Los Angeles Dodgers, who are the defending World Series champions, they will be eliminated in the wild card game, and San Diego is going to move on. So you're defending 2020 World Series champions, who also I hate the Dodgers. That's a side point. They're going to be out of the first, <laughs> not even, it's going to be a one game playoff. They're going to be gone. Um, so that's my prediction for the NL. And real briefly for the AL, I, I have to do it. I'm sorry, Yankee fans. Well, not really, because this actually gives me great joy. I do not think the Yankees are going to make the playoffs this year. Now that, I, because I said that, Yankee fans should probably be happy because now they're going to, because I jinx everything. But I don't think the Yankees are going to make the playoffs. I mean, you look at it, I think the Red Sox are just way too ahead in, in the, the East. And then we look at the wild card standings. I mean, you got Seattle's in front of them, Toronto's in front of them. I mean, I, I just don't see it where. Uh, the Yankees can really make up ground. I don't think that they're better. I mean, Tampa Bay and Oakland have the two wildcard spots right now. I just, I don't see any of those four teams I just mentioned really falling behind and the Yankees really catching up. I just don't see the Yankees having that fire. I don't think necessarily Joey Gallo is going to help, you know, sneak you into a wild card. I don't think you're winning the division. And you know what? I, I, I'm fine with it. I'm happy with it. I do not think the Yankees are making the playoffs this year. I think, uh, you know, I definitely echo that with the Yankees. I, I think that the standings in the AL, it, it's going to stay like that. I think Red Sox, White Sox, Astros are going to be the division winners. You know, Rays and A's are going to be the wild cards. I want to say that the Mets are going to choke the, the NL East, but I do think that they're going to hold on to that. But I think in the NL Central, Cincinnati can make some noise. I mean, they're, they're outfielders. You know, Winker and Castellanos are just so talented. That offense is tough to beat. I think that they've got a really good shot at dethron or uh, dethroning the Brewers in the Central. And, you know, I know you're not a big Dodgers guy, Mike, but I, I just can't I can't bet against them, man. They're too good. I see the Dodgers taking the the NL West and you know the other two teams, Giants, Padres being the wild cards. Yeah, I mean, in the AL, I agree with you guys. I don't think the Yankees are going to make it. I, I think the I think the Jays are actually – they're going to be the team, I think, in, from the AL. I like the Jays. They're going back to Toronto, which I think playing on, like, these road, like, you know, weird schedules, like, that must take a toll on them. They're over 500. My Guerrero has been just absolutely outstanding. Maybe they had it at the deadline. We didn't talk about them, but if they had it at the deadline, I mean – I, I I don't know if George Springer, but he hasn't really played at all. So getting, I just think this yeah. team, I think they got more, I just think they have more left than them. And I think if a team's going to do it, like, I don't know if it's going, but if I was going to make a bull prediction, I think the, the, the Jays do it. And I'll stick with my AL posi- um, prediction from the, from April. And I'm going to go with the White Sox winning it. I know the Red Sox have really came on and maybe if, like, I don't want to change my prediction because the White Sox have been good, so I'll keep it. But I think the Red Sox would be the team to beat them. I think it actually will be, you know, the Red Sox. I think they'll play in the CS in on the AL side. In the NL, I agree with you, Jack. I think the Dodgers are going to win that division. I think the Giants are actually going to beat the Padres, though, in that wild card game. I, I think there's just something about the Giants. I think they're a little more scrappy. They got really good pitching, um, and they'll win that. I think the Mets, they'll hold on, and I think the Brewers will hold on. But I, I think the Mets are going to go – to the CSN, they make may they make may make noise. I just think Jacob Degrom. Every you know, if you're going to seven game series, he pitches three times. If he pitches in the the DS, would be two. When you get those, basically, I don't want to call them free wins, but they're basically free wins, and that's something that I think really means a lot in the playoffs when you can have someone go seven eight innings. And I don't think they're going to be six inning starts. I think they're just going to let Jacob Degrom pitch. 
And that is going to be the difference. And I really feel like this Mets team has something magical around them. And if they add a Chris Bryant, which I do think they're going to, I think they're going to catch fire in the second half. I think they're going to run away with the NL East and they're going to make some noise in the playoffs. I don't know if it'll be World Series, but I think it will be, uh, you know, at least into the CS and they're going to make a deep run. But 